Welcome back and you're watching Talk Wisconsin. I'm Jessa Jeremiah. For many years, of course, Dane by Local has been doing wonderful things in our community here to help small businesses. Even more so throughout this pandemic, they've really stepped up to the plate to help our community and the entrepreneurs that are trying to survive the rest of this pandemic. We're going to talk a little bit about what's going on, get some updates. We've got, of course, Executive Director Colin Murray, who's joining us to do just that. Nice to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jessa, once again. I appreciate it. Well, we always love to catch up with what you're doing because you're doing great things in our community. And this last year has been even more so going above and beyond to help those in our area. I want to talk a little bit about Dane by Local and specifically what's happening with the Dane County Grant Program. I understand we're on rounds two and three. Can you tell us what's going on? Yes, yeah, so we're kind of right in between the two programs right at the moment. We're just wrapping up round two so all of the awardees have now been notified uh, and we've been able to uh, uh, start dispensing money that was a smaller fund this time around it was about four million dollars and a smaller fund right that's kind of crazy when you say that um, but uh, you know compared to the other ones it is um, we've just uh, sent out about three million of the dollars so far so we've got about a million dollars still to wrap up there's some paperwork that needs to happen uh, when people receive the grants. So uh, we're cleaning those those up now. So we anticipate in the next couple of weeks here that, that everyone will have their checks and, and have things wrapped up. So uh, that'll take care of round two. And then round three uh, was announced just um, a week or two ago uh, by the County Executive Joe Parisi. And this is uh, from the latest round of relief dollars that have come from the president uh, uh, the new administration. So in this l most recent round, round three, uh, they've actually added additional dollars, than, more than what we had had before. So it's actually $15 million that we're dealing with. And when you combine that with all of the other efforts that have been out there that we've dealt with as far as being by locals concerned, by the time we wrap up round three, we'll be close to $30 million that we've put back into the economy here locally. So it just has had a major impact uh, with our businesses. And we're very, very proud to be able to, to help these businesses, very humbled really, uh, to help these businesses and, and hopefully help them survive uh, through the pandemic and get back up on their feet and head in the right direction again uh, as we come out of the pandemic. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what it's all about right now for small business is just making it through. We're hopeful that we're on the end of, of this. Had we known a year ago how long this process was going to be, uh, obviously we could have you know, maybe made some different decisions and acted differently. But the way that Dane by Local has stepped up to you know, just help with some of the communication and these processes has been incredibly amazing. I want to make sure we spend a little bit of time on, on how businesses can apply for those grants for any entrepreneurs who might be watching and needing a little more information. Yeah, so we don't have an exact date yet for when the application will come uh, out, uh, but as soon as it's available, we will put it on our website. That's where you'll officially be able to find the application, danebylocal.com. Uh, so that's where you'll find it. Uh, so we'll have it on there. We'll put it out on Facebook. We'll, we'll you know, spread the word here and there, just like you're helping us do as well uh, to get that word out there. Uh, so just keep an eye on the website. And as soon as it's available, we'll have it out there. Right now, there's some details that um, I'm working with the county to work out as far as uh, the next round is concerned. Uh, so there will be some small changes that will take place. Uh, so uh, that's what we're working on right now is figuring out those details. Um, but I do anticipate that that'll come up here in the next couple of weeks uh, that we'll be able to uh, release the application and, and get that going again. You know, one of the things that the county has been very um, um, focused on is getting those dollars out as quickly as possible. And so we're, we're doing everything we can uh, but there is a process that needs to take place. You know, we do have to be very careful. I mean, this is a lot of money that we're talking about here. So that we have to follow procedures. And I know for many businesses, that's very frustrating. And they're like, just write the check. You know, and, and it, it, there's a whole lot more to it than just writing a check. So uh, we are working as quickly as we can. 
Well, we appreciate your work on that and yeah, certainly can understand the perspective of entrepreneurs who have rent to pay and employees to pay and, and all these things as they navigate this difficult time. But thanks to these grant programs, you know, they are able to make ends meet and we hope we'll continue to be able to do so. Just a few seconds, Colin, speaking of, you know, trying to survive the pandemic, the restaurant industry has been hit hard and I want to make sure our viewers know about Soups On and how that program went. Yeah, so Soups On has been a huge uh, success. Um, it runs through the end of April. Uh, so we'll, we'll pause for the summer, come back next fall again and, and do it again. Uh, so this is all about supporting local restaurants in this particular case. You can go on our website, order the soup. All of the money goes right back to the restaurants. Nobody else is making any money on this. It's all volunteer based, including Dane by Local. Uh, to help support these restaurants. Thank you so much for the update today and your work in our community. We so appreciate you. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate that.